For example, see, this is what I need to look at. Nathaniel Winter, financial genius or eccentric, geriatric. When Nathaniel Winter, billionaire mogul, announced his intention to build an amusement park on the fog-shrouded shores of Solomon Island off the coast of New England, there were sniggers up and down Wall Street. Winter, who had who made his fortune through a series of savvy investments during the post-war boom, has long been considered an eccentric but brilliant man. His passion for the New England region has always been at the forefront of his investment portfolio. With him pouring funds into local businesses, small and large, in general, his business sense and investments have paid off, and due to his generosity, Winter enjoys a friendly relationship with the governor and other key political figures. So why have a track record like this are the Wall Street wizards shaking their heads? At first glance, Solomon Island is an odd choice, a tiny town called Kingsmouth with a sleepy main street, a preppy academy of dr for dropouts from Boston, a lighthouse that is already in the process of being automated, and, and a belligerent tribe of natives who were very recently involved in dispute over the Blue Ridge Mines. It doesn't make sense, one commenter pointed out. New England has a short summer this far north, and the number of visitors to Solomon Island per season are limited. I don't see how he expects to turn a profit. Well, let's have far more faith in winter. Under a condition of anonymity, an engineer who has seen the plans of the park notes several abnormalities. He's digging far deeper than, than is needed for an amusement park, including several underground chambers, which are too small to house machinery. If you ask me, the old man is looking, is looking for something buried beneath the island itself. Could this be the real reason why the eccentric businessman has relocated to this remote northern island? Is this corporate misdirection of the highest order by a crafty entrepreneur? With disputes over the Blue Ridge Mine, with native population ongoing, there is definitely something buried beneath Solomon Island. Perhaps the day in the winter is going to surprise us all. So yeah, there's definitely some black magic buried under this island, I'm sure. Question becomes, what is it? What are we phasing here? I like I know I know we got magic, okay? We got magic, but like what is that magic for? Oh device. Interesting. Why the heck are we getting shot? Because that's us. Ooh. We had a doctor's office getting shocked. We have a. We just have to do a shocking revelation. What's with this game and puns? Shocking revelation. Really? Shocking revelations. Dissuade them. They sent an inspector to investigate, investigate the accidents at the park. I've given him the grand tour and spoken about all of our safety upgrades, but he seems unconvinced. In this case, the park itself is working against me. This dower man has become more and more intractable. The more time he spends in the park, if I've offered to pay for his stay in the Overlook Hotel to get him out of here, it seems to have made him even more paranoid. I don't think this man is going to allow my park to stay open. This is a disaster for my ultimate goal. So the park is closed. I do not like that. But the park has to be closed, right? Oh, oh, stairs are broken. Huh. But the park is closed, right? Because that's like 1970s. So that stuff at the beginning about the park getting closed, that wasn't real. So is this the reality? Yeah, presumably that was like referencing electroshock therapy, right? So what if like we're suffering from a mental problem? Like we're suffering from some mental problem and we thought this place was open, but it wasn't. And the reason Callum was so scared in that one picture was because his mom dragged him to some abandoned place. 
And perhaps she even left him here. And now he's like dead or taken. Or something. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Uh, okay. So, again, she's mentioning shock therapy, right? She has to be. So she has, so there was some mental issue that she had and the help she was given was electroshock therapy, which she didn't, which she obviously didn't like. But she definitely isn't right in that. What if like all of this, I mean, it doesn't make sense for like, them to be some magical thing happening, like for them to be referencing something if something isn't happening with this place. But what if like this all isn't real and this is just a delusional person trying to like explain what happened maybe? Like maybe none of this, maybe all of this is just an exaggerated version of the truth. Which sounds like an interesting idea. Like this all being just an exaggerated version of the truth. Continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders, the problem is that they are locals, and so they believe a lot of rumors about the old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on those hotel tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, those fools are crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, this is why I chose this site over all the other potentials. Solomon Island is the nexus for dark energies and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here, it makes my skin crawl. I called in a favor a few, I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out the old man Henderson has some pretty strong connection to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps something he wrote helped me find the pieces of the plans that I'm missing. Okay, so we are. So he is still looking for dark magic. Maybe that's why he looks like a monster. He was digging the dark magic, and that was the result? That's the thing about this game. It just. There's a lot of interesting things that to think of. I'm still caught up on what the whole eyes are. Okay, this is gonna be great. There's wheels. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. 
Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Dang. So he was involved in the creation of this place. When he died from what we assume is an accident. Can I see the man? Is he here? Of course he is, and it's the same guy too. Okay. I'm i I'm calling him I'm calling him Nathaniel. Because I, I think it's Nathaniel. But one thing I did notice. In the that's where the entrance is, right? There was no there was no road. It was just mountains and forests far that I can see. So I'm curious if we're even in the same place that we were when we entered. Or if we are and we just imagined we came here via a town. I feel it like, Okay, obviously Obviously, there's something magical going on here. Like, that seems like a given. There's something definitely magical happening. But my question is... Not really what. But if we're not in the same... We're not in the same world anymore, is what I'm thinking. Because... The environment doesn't look the same. So I don't think we're in the same world. Either that or once again, this is the, like an exaggerated delusion. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is... This seems like where the game wants me to go. It seems like that. So I'm kind of tempted to go the opposite direction. But let me just check. Let me just check here, because I'm already over here. Spin, spin, sugar! Huh. That's definitely where we're supposed to go. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'll save that for a future video. I mean, this video has probably been split into multiple parts already. You've probably seen this a little more fragmented or maybe i may just shorten all this down like a lot but hey who knows so this is so far pretty interesting i'm i am intrigued as to what's truly going on i think i discovered the main twists that the monster is nathaniel or maybe that's not a twist maybe that's just Something. Why is my game lagging so much? Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, maybe that's just something basic that's not supposed to be a twist or anything. But I think one cool twist could be that this is all just in the mind of the character we play as. That this is just an exaggerated retelling of what happened to her child. That this is just all one big exaggeration as to what happened to Callum. Because it's, because like the beginning started with like her being like, I will never forget what happened at, what's this park called again? I was gonna call it the park. I'll never forget what happened at the park. And so it sounds like she's recounting a story. So maybe this is like just one big exaggeration from the mind of Lorraine. Like an exaggeration of events. Like these aren't the events that happened exactly as they did but they're based on events which could explain why these seem so connected to Lorraine the Hansel and Gretel story the uh, Ferris wheel um, there's probably other things that I just haven't really found but that doesn't explain all the magic stuff I'm also thinking that maybe we were we either killed Callum or we were responsible for Callum's death in some way. Or well, not that we were responsible, but we feel responsible in some way. Like because we abandoned him here or because we feel like we abandoned him that, that we feel responsible for it. 
I don't know, though. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, see your hand that like button and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys next time. Aurelius, out.